All right, back in Hogsmeade, they're going to go in here to the uh, Tomes and Scrolls. Because if you look behind the desk here at Just Tomes and Scrolls, there's, there's a room. And in this room is a demiguy statue. Oh, yeah, there it is. Check it out. Mine now, demiguys. Yes, there we go. One more of those. Let's grab this chest. And let us get our 500. Our 500 from the chest here. I gotta go out of the room. So does it... His eye is still open. I'm not here. There you go. I'm not here. Close your little eye. Go to sleep. And give me some money. I'm pretty cheap. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. That was corny, but whatever. All right, let's go see Poppy. She's waiting for us in the three broomsticks. And then uh, we need to go talk to Deke. Deke wants to see us in our room of requirement. Or we can, we can get rid of this now. All right, so that Demi guys is in the Tomes and Scrolls store. All right, in Hogsmeade. All right, let's go find Poppy here. She wants to talk to us over a butter beer. I don't know if I've ever been in this store before. I'm sure I have. But there's something over here. Just anything else here that I haven't grabbed? There's no, uh... Guide page? No, nope, nothing. Alright, let us go to find Poppy. She is apparently this way. There we go. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbors aren't harmed. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually... Before I go on, I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? 
Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The Hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tried Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Revelio. The Three Broomsticks, currently run by Sirona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. All right, let's go check in on the Hamlet here on Mary and see what we can do. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Surely that's the last of them. Rebellion. Oh no, this must be Mary. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. Spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? That's just creepy looking right there. Why would they leave her in her living room with that? Creepy! Well, let's go down and have a look. Rebellion. This is where Mary bred the spiders. They're not here now. Revelio. Well, this isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. Ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. 
I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Revelio. Hexax. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Good for you. That's one exact destroyed. I should get the rest. Expelliarmus! to think that they see me, but I don't see them. This is definitely going to anger your parents. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick you right in the sack. <laughs> oh yeah. There's more here, I'm sure. <laughs> These chests aren't giving me nothing. A little bit of money there. Oh, I heard a spider. How do I... Uh, I guess I go this way now. Revelio. Oh, big spider. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm 
I must have upgraded my gear way too much because I'm not getting anything anymore that even comes close to it. Rebellion. That's where I came in. Okay, so what am I missing here? I need four more sacks. Alright, there's got to be some here. I'm just not seeing. Oh, there's an upper level here. Oh yeah, here we go. One. Two. Uh oh. He's dead, right? Nope. No, he is. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Man. Oh, challenge completed. Defeat spiders. All right. That's awesome. Seems like all you do in this game is fight spiders for most of it. Oh, look at this one. That can't be good. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Trying to make money on uh, silk. Isn't that the way it always happens though? Money is the easy way to ruin money. Just be happy. Money is cool. It's a tool. But you know what? It's not everything. Being happy and having fun is everything. Health before wealth. I mean, I've known some pretty happy, unwealthy people, and I've known some pretty sad, wealthy people. Where'd you come from, spider? I've killed all the sacks. They're gone. Jump down. I I, that's the last spider. Oh, I knew they were going to bring one big one on me. So foul. Rebellion. Oh, 
after that. Rebellion. Glad to be out of there. That place gave me the willies. Too many spiders, man. Too many spiders. Let's go see this guy in Hogsmeade and then actually you can fast travel from here. We don't need to take the broom 600 meters. We can just travel it. Yeah. Let's travel it. Can I get any closer to Hogsmeade, please? Just give me the map, please. Give me the map of Hogsmeade, please. There we go. We're gonna go right here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Sarona, get me a butterbeer, please. I've just encountered a thousand spiders. <laughs> Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary. What untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. 
All right, that quest is done. You ever get the feeling like when you do quests like that, like spider quest, do you feel around on your neck and stuff to make sure there's no spider on you? Or that, is that just me? It's like a habit. Like, oh, look, I get the creepy crawlies. <laughs> All right, I have a quest to go talk to Deke. Let's go do that. He's, of course, at the uh, room of requirement. He wants to talk to us. And that will be the last thing that we do here today. Let us do it. a moment and please come and talk to Dick. Hello Dick. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Dig thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. All right, that is the quest we will do, Fall of the Dead. Uh, we will do that in another video. Uh, so you have to collect the spellcraft and get the materials on it. So I will look into that and uh, see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.